Hey everybody, this is Franco, and it's another Friday night, and I am killing a little bit of time here in the garage working on a project. And uh, yeah, before I get into that, just thought I'd take a shot of this cool little uh, LED light thing that uh, my friend uh, Bazaru made for me. I did not make this myself. He made it on his CNC router, so he's a pretty creative fellow. He likes uh, working with LEDs and electronics and stuff like that, so makes these cool little signs and just thought it was uh, something kind of neat to start off this video. <clears throat> so what I'm working on here tonight is the part two of the uh, Technic clear path uh, motor tuning procedure. So the previous video, the previous really long video, I'm sorry that other video was so long, I uh, went through the whole process of doing the z-axis and the x-axis and uh, if you watch that video, uh, even though it, it, there, the process you know, definitely it takes several minutes, it's actually pretty user-friendly and uh, you know you let the software do all the tuning for you. <clears throat> Trick with a uh, gantry type of machine with a double Y axis is you cannot run each individual Y axis by itself to do the auto tune. So what you do is after you tune the X axis with its full weight you reduce some of the weight which I did by taking the router off and you run the auto tune on the X axis again and then you save that information and you load that val those values into each of the y-axis motors and that worked pretty good didn't really have any trouble with it but what happened after I did that uh, and they warned me that you know that I may have to do a little tweaking after the fact is that each of these y-axis motors uh, they performed just fine but they had a little bit of a hum I don't know if I can simulate that can't really simulate it now because I've tuned it out but let me let me try to put it back in and I'll show you what I'm talking about <clears throat> so uh, my computer went to sleep let me pause this for a second and turn it back on okay so there's the clear path software and uh, works great and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug into one of their motors so I'm just going to come back here take this cap off and you know you can see what's in there it's pretty cool and I'm just going to plug in this is hard to do while I'm holding the camera let me make sure I'm putting that in right there we go plugged in everything's happy software will auto detect there it is it found the motor I love this stuff it's like plug and play it's great and it's just asking me, you know, basically it's saying, do you want to auto-tune? And no, I don't want to auto-tune. I've already done that. So I'm going to jump into here. What you do is you go up to uh, the setup screen, go to tuning, fine tuning. This neat little window pops up and it's like, basically it's just saying, do you want quietness or stiffness? It defaulted to a value of like 19, something like that. And let's see if I can simulate, get it to simulate this noise. Just jog Y axis a little bit. Here we go. Hopefully you can hear that. Right? So the motor's, I guess it's, it's trying to work a little harder to hold position, but it's, it's also making some noise. Okay. Right? So that's not desirable. So what I'm going to do is for me, I found, I just turned it all the way down to quietness of, put it on its lowest setting. Now, no more noise. Very quiet. 
I can jog the y-axis around. It's, it's no humming, no buzzing, nothing. And that is it. It's pretty much that simple. And I did that for both y-axis motors. And, uh, you know, that makes me happy. I, I suspect that the uh, mechanical system here on the router is probably, uh, I, I would guess this is a, a noisy mechanical system that's prone to a lot of resonance and vibration. You know, maybe compared to some different you know, types of machines that you could uh, throw servos on. So it doesn't surprise me that the servos are, are making a little noise with their default settings. But when I put this all the way to its, its quietest fine-tuned setting, the noise goes away. So now that that is set, I am going to close that and go here to File, Save Configuration, and that is my Y1 motor. Press save. Yes, I really want to save, yes. And that's it. I'm just going to come over here, unplug, the little dust cap back on. We are done. We are done tuning. So I gotta tell you, I am I am thrilled to death with uh how easy it's been to work with these <clears throat> these clear path motors. Uh, I, I'm really happy. I know it's, you know, this stuff's building a CNC machine is not like, um, you know, it's not child's play or anything. I mean, you need, a, you need to work at this a little bit and you need to understand a little bit about electronics. But I can tell you, you know, when you put this in perspective, you're dealing with, you know, servos here. Um, so, so servos are a little more complicated typically than, than steppers. But I really like the way these uh, clear path motors configure. The, the software is really user friendly. And uh, the wiring, I, I just, I love the fact that, you know, you just plug cables in and hook up connections. There's no, you know, there's no resistors or capacitors or I didn't have to like rig anything up or jump or anything. It all just you know, I just followed the wiring diagrams from Centroid and everything worked. So I am, I'm a big fan. These things are not cheap. I know that, you know, if you compare the price on these to uh, steppers or closed loop steppers, these things cost more money. That's a, you know, a whole other topic. We'll talk about that later. But if you want servos and you want servo performance, uh, I would highly recommend that you at least consider these uh, clear path servos from Technic. I am very impressed. All right, well, no need for that video to be any longer than that. There is the tuning, part two. It's that easy, and uh, thanks for watching.